how do I know that the iPad can add value for my specific degree slash discipline slash topic that I am learning? Really great question because yes, I do think the value that you can get from an iPad is dependent on firstly your discipline and secondly, the way that you learn concepts in that discipline. You know, if you're studying a science or engineering degree where a significant amount of time is spent understanding visual concepts and retaining that information, and you want to make visual summaries, I think the iPad offers so much value and possibility to you as a student. Or even a math subject where you're constantly solving problems and writing out lines of working out with formulas and numbers and symbols, I think the iPad could be an incredible tool for you too. On the other hand, if you're studying a degree that is heavily based on descriptive language and definitions and is incredibly content heavy, such as law or history, sometimes the work that goes into making visual notes just simply isn't worth the effort. And so in your specific context and the way you learn, the iPad may not add as much value. I remember doing a law subject in the first year of my business degree, and I remember being blown away by the sheer amount of content and legislation that we had to get through on a weekly basis. And I made a video on this in 2021 where I talked about how I found that typing out my notes was a far more efficient and appropriate method for dealing with that level of quantity and text that I was getting through. And I found that using an app like Notion um, gave me the opportunity to systematically organize the content, um, which I eventually turned into aesthetic digital summaries using Keynote. Once again, I hope you realize you have to adapt your process and your tools and your way of learning depending on the subject. I will say though that the ability to mark up PDFs, store your textbooks, lecture slides, that is a valuable thing that anyone from any discipline could benefit from. But yeah, at the end of the day, when it comes down to the value you're gonna get from a tool like this, the question that I would ask you is, when you observe the potential of what the iPad can do, and then you look at your discipline, your subject, the topic you are studying, what possibility do you see? But yeah, at the end of the day, you're gonna make a decision for yourself. And one of the phrases that I use on my channel is the idea of owning your learning. And that's a commitment to showing up to university, to class, to life, and taking the information that you're learning and making your own thing out of it. And I think when you give a tool like the iPad or even a Mac, into the hands of that kind of student, I think they'll always find a creative way to use these tools.